It's impossible for a sports person to be on top of their game if they're suffering from an injury. And physiotherapist Craig Govender is a key member of the team that keeps the proteas in shape. It's a demanding job because you never know when and how a player may be injured. So I went off to find out about Craig's approach to sport, sprains and life. For every minute spent playing or competing, athletes and players spend hours training. So an injury doesn't only affect them on the field, track, court or in the ring, but also prevents them from preparing properly. Craig Govender is one of the experts who helps sports people to reduce the downtime resulting from an injury, as well as preventing injuries from occurring in the first place. Zaki had arranged to meet Craig at the office, which in his case is the Wanderers. I love cricket, especially when watched live at the stadium. So one of the worst things for me is when one of my favourite players isn't on the field due to injury. Enter Craig Govender, the man who many South Africans may not know is keeping our cricket team healthy and injury free. Even though there wasn't a match in progress, the stadium still held a certain mystique. Craig Govender. How's that? It's so good to meet you. You as well. The Wanderers looks amazing empty. It is, eh? It's an awesome place. Love it here. What inspired you to become a physiotherapist? The love for sport. My dad took me to the first cricket game in Kingsmead after isolation, South Africa versus India, and I just love the game. I basically wanted to be a physiotherapist from grade 10. I wanted to be part of sport, and a profession that would allow me to do that was physio. What does a physiotherapist actually do? Well, a physiotherapist is a first-hand practitioner. We treat from sports injuries, which I specialize in, to your chronic lower back pain or neck pain. You treat kids, you work in ICU, and you got to keep people ventilated. So there's chest physio. So it's a wide range of things that we deal with. How did you come to be appointed the official physiotherapist of the Proteas? I was at breakfast on a Saturday, and the manager of the Proteas called me, and he asked me if I was available to be the Protea physio. And I was like, hmm. This is really happening. This is what I've always dreamed about. So it was quite surreal. What are some of the highlights of this position? Becoming the first professional cricket physiotherapist. At the time, there was no other specialized cricket physio. And it kind of changed the way things happened in South African cricket at the time. What would you say are some of the disadvantages? Obviously, the pressure. There's a lot of scrutiny and a lot of publicity and a lot of media at international level. People want to see the best players play and it's your duty to make sure that they play and also not get injured. Craig is the founder of the Wanderers Sports Medical Center, based at the stadium to serve the needs of the Gauteng sporting community. The Wanderers Sports Medical Center just turned two. How did this dream come about? The thought came across of creating a medical center under the Wanderers Stadium. Everyone knows where the Wanderers is. So if we try and get the best medical practitioners possible, in one location, everyone kind of knows where it is and it's easy to find. Let's go have a look at the center. Thanks. Covering some 270 square meters of floor space, the center has a number of practitioners available to cover the needs of a broad variety of sporting codes. So this is the gym. This is part of the, the center. We have the bios, physios, personal trainers, and the dietitians in here. The other side's the clinical psychologist, the podiatrist, the chiropractor, the homeopath, the optometrist. We have a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. It helps a lot with healing. We have our sports physician, and we have an orthodox prosthetist. So we basically have everything available to the client, and we want to cover all our bases and make sure that they get the best possible service. How did you go about turning your dream into a reality? It took me three years to get where I am today. I had to pitch it to the board at the Gauteng Cricket Board. I had to come up with this business plan. I had to, I had to basically tell them why this is going to work. And now they have a world-class medical facility in the stadium. What for you are the highlights of the center? I work in an elite environment and the elite person gets a diagnosis immediately and gets the best service and referral. Now you can see your normal Joe coming in here open to the public and they can get the same service that any elite athlete would get. So I noticed when I walked in that there were lots of names all over the walls. Yep. Are these the names of the people who haven't made it out of the medical center? 
Imagine that app, but it'll be closed. <laughs> well, basically, it's a, it's a nice little fitness challenge we have at the gym. We have a unique piece of equipment called the Jacob's Ladder Challenge. You basically have two minutes to get as many steps as you can. So it's quite a fun but extremely difficult uh, challenge. Let's have a look. Okay. It doesn't look like such a challenge. It's really a challenge. It's a massive challenge. You're very lucky that Sean's here to try it oh, and show you. Be. <laughs> okay. Come on, Sean. Oh, it's not that easy. Ten seconds to go. Two minutes is nearly up. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Wow! Stop! 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 <laughs> two eighty-two. That's well done, eh? Well done. 282, that's great. Now we've got to put that on the leaderboard. Let's see where you go on the board. Wow, that's really high up. It's a great score. It's right up there. You even needed a step to get up there. A big step. You obviously travel a lot working with the Proteas. How do you balance work and home? It's quite tough. We out traveling quite extensively. So having a good family base is critical in, in us getting through our days. And our days are quite long because, well, as a physio, I place we start at 7 a.m. and end at 9 p.m. What advice do you have for the youth who are looking to work in the professional sporting world? Well, professional sporting career is not just a sport. I mean, if we look at it, probably only 1% of sportsmen out there are professional. So don't give up on your hopes and dreams. There are many other avenues to achieving your dream. 2018 marks the centenary of Nelson Mandela's birthday. Do you have a Mandela message for us? I really look at his, his life and his, his legacy as, as a person of reconciliation and forgiveness. So that's how I would like to lead mine and hope everyone else in South Africa does. Craig, thank you so much. Such a super duper day. Thank you. Really appreciate having you guys here today.